If you ask me what animals could totally defy death, I would say fish. And why would I choose these aquatic, gill-bearing animals that people usually eat for dinner? Well, the reason for that answer is in this video. A man in China recorded this video of himself coming across a very dried out fish. The creature doesn't seem to have any sign of life until the man in the video pours some water onto its mouth and gills. Then it starts to move. This supposedly dead fish just came back to life with just a tiny bit of water. I was so startled when I first watched this video because there's no way this was real. So, with a very skeptical mind, I did some digging on the internet and I found out that fish really can defy death. What? The fish we see in the video is a sucker mouth catfish, or Hypostomus plecostomus, a tropical freshwater fish native to northern South America. These fish are known for their ability to withstand harsh environmental conditions. With large, bony plates that are hard enough to pierce through car tires, this species is considered very invasive as they lay tons of eggs and are highly adaptive. In some places around the world, sucker mouth fish has become a problem because there's no way to kill them. Fishermen tried to bury them, but they were very hard to decompose. This type of catfish has no nutritional value, so you can't eat them. Plus, their bodies are way too tough and spiky. You could accidentally cut yourself just holding one. They also rip fishing nets, which is very annoying. And did I mention they can pierce car tires? Yes, they can. They also burrow into riverbanks, causing erosion. They churn up the river bottom, reducing water visibility. There are even reports that they stress out wintering manatees because they try to eat the algae off the big mammals. All of this makes these fish extra difficult to deal with. Sucker mouth fish's diet usually consists of algae and small organisms that grow on submerged objects, which is why people put them in fish tanks so they can help clean the glass and water. Hence the other name, janitor fish. But because they are voracious, sometimes they suck the slime on other fish's bodies. This can be dangerous because they can actually make sores on other fish from doing this, leaving the window wide open for illnesses. And one more thing I think you should know while we're at it is that sucker mouth fish can also walk on land. A fish that can move on land? That can't be. But surprise, surprise, everything is possible. Sucker mouth fish can walk on land and they do so surprisingly well. Researchers even had to invent a new word, ruffle, to describe the way they move, as it is so unusual and is unlike any form of terrestrial locomotion seen in any animal. They move in bursts of one meter per second, which translates to about 2.3 miles per hour. That would be a pretty slow human walking pace but for a fish, it's downright speedy. The explanation is quite complicated, so by looking at this video, you can tell that the fish moves by flinging its tail forward. It is quite similar to how a kid pumps their legs on a swing to get higher and higher. Why do I feel like I've seen this somewhere? Fish are something out of this world because even when they were frozen, the minute you put them back in the water, they come back to life and swim away like nothing happened. And if that's not cool enough for you, they can even live with half their bodies. This fish survived for six months straight with no trunk or tail. A golden belly barb was found and bought by a man in Thailand. Apparently, it tried to escape from the artificial pond, but broke its tail when it fell. As a result, half of its body, along with the tail, simply rotted away. But the fish didn't die. The man who bought it even took it around the villages so that as many people as possible could see the strange exhibit. But unfortunately, the fish still died. 
It may not have had a tail or even much of a body, but that didn't stop one ultra-resilient fish from living life to the fullest for over six months. Well, perhaps it didn't live life to the fullest, but it lived. It was strange for a fish to live like that because you can get infected by that big wound. And also, fish like that in nature instantly become someone's prey. So, how can a fish survive in such conditions? Some people say that it's all about salt water, as the liquid helps to clean and promote healing. And let's assume that all injured fish live in the ocean, so salt water is definitely the key here. But this is actually a myth. In reality, salt water in the ocean is not sanitized enough to clean the wounds, as the water contains high concentrations of germs and bacteria that definitely do more harm than good. So it's not the salt water. But why do sea creatures live so long and ignore injuries? Well, it's about the fish themselves. Evolution made them champions of regeneration. Many types of fish can even regrow fins, scales, vital internal organs, you name it. But we hardly see land animals come even close to these results, except for Deadpool. But he's a mutant, so he doesn't count. Lungfish, for example, are capable of completely regrowing its tail. And surprisingly, this species of fish relates to us in a unique way, as their genome is very similar to the human genome. Research even shows humans also have the genes responsible for regeneration. We have everything we need except for the genetic mechanism to activate these genes. The switches to restoration appear to have been lost or changed during the evolution of mammals, which includes humans. But everything comes with a price. Evolution didn't take everything from anyone. Even though we cannot magically restore lost body parts, which is hella cool, we evolved to be the smartest organisms of all. Because just think of life as a computer game. When you have the option to save, you don't have to worry about what you do. In any case, you'll start from the save point with the same conditions. But when you can't save, you assess your decisions as you have no right to make mistakes. And as we keep thinking, we become smarter. Sounds logical enough, don't you think? Everything happens for a reason, and every organism has a different purpose. Tell us what you think in the comments section below. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. Please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything from Wildpedia.